Okay, so why is my camera busted? Why is my camera busted? The hell? It's not busted. OBS, hold on. We're gonna. Oh my god, do I have to restart the stream? What the fuck? Camera. My camera appears perfectly fine everywhere except OBS. But why? What the fuck is going on? Oh, okay, there we go. Okay. Are we good? I think we're good. There might be a little bit of feedback with the uh, the stream and the microphone. Sorry, the, the game and the microphone. Let me turn down the volume on this side. How about that? Turned on the volume on the monitor. We're turning down this volume. Hopefully that clears up the microphone a little bit. We're gonna I'm gonna watch the stream back later and make sure that's true. Otherwise, welcome to Pokemon Unite! We playing some some MOBAs. Uh, I'm not really a MOBA guy, but you know what? I'm kind of a fan of Pokemon. I'm I'm loving me some Pokemons. Pokemans. Challenge is what I have to do here. Score a total of 50 points easy. Deal damage to Rotom and defeat it once with one of your teammates dealing a final blow. Deal damage to Zapdos and defeat it once. Okay, so I have to defeat both of the bosses. Okay, not a big deal. Not a big deal. What else do I have to do here? No, no, no. I want to go. I want to go events. The 14 day welcome. I'm claiming me some Ninetales. Um, day three is this uh, Beach Venusaur. I'm down with that. Tomorrow we're logging in for sure. Daily missions. We checked that already. Don't really care. Pokemans. It's this uh, Ninetales, isn't it? Why is the game so laggy? Do a quick battle. I've never done a quick battle before. How do I do this here? Quick. Quick battle locked at trainer level 8. Oh, I'm not level 6 or 8 yet. I can't even play ranked yet. Okay. I 
guess I have to um, play some more unranked first. I go for more of a tank. Some champ. Should I go for this tank here? I'm gonna go for this tank. I don't really think we have a tank. We have the Pikachu, the Zorora, the. What is that? A Flame Tail? What is that Pokemon called? And then the Venusaur. We don't really have a tank. So I'm going... What is this? Crustle. The potion on Y. Held items. Can I... Leftovers. Give me the leftovers. Okay. Okay. Here we go. They don't really have a tank either. Their closest is Machamp, Charizard. Everyone else is kind of glass cannon. Everyone's using Potion too. This guy's got an attack up. Zorora has an attack up. Talonflame is the bird's name. Venusaur, Pikachu, Machamp, Cinderace, Ninetales, Charizard, Slowbro. Okay. Ready? Uh, I think I follow one of our damage characters, right? We go, we go top lane. We go top lane. I was too close to the Charmander. Both those guys are fires. Mm, I was too close to that. I think we go jungle some more here. Let's go jungle this guy here. There's a... What's this guy called? I don't even know. You know what? That early death is actually kind of shitty, isn't it? I'm 
going here. Feed our Zorora real quick. What exactly does Cell sm Shell Smash do? I need to figure that out. Let's go for Rotom here. Scissor kind of fucks us, doesn't it? I need to hit that X-Scissor in the right direction. Oh my God. I leave that way. I should have left with the Zorora instead. It's okay. Um, you know what? I've not dunked any points yet, so that's a struggle. Oh shit, I took the buff. I should have given it to the Venusaur. I need to go dunk my points. I really desperately need to go dunk my points here. Should we go for the um the guy at the bottom? The the farm at the bottom. It's a close battle, actually. Mm. Someone's attacking Dreadnaw. The Dreadnaw at the bottom. How do I get out of this menu? What the fuck? I haven't taken my health yet. <sighs> the controls I am not super used to yet. Okay, let's go farm a bit more. It looks like everything's under control right now. Challenge the the top lane here. Okay, 
We're still in the lead, but I kind of need some help here. Someone's attacking Zapdos. I need to go help out that Zapdos, actually. Should I distract here? What level is this fucking okay, Charizard? This Charizard's wrecking me, dude. I actually don't even know how my super goes. Whoa, I just destroyed everybody. Let me go score real quick. What? He got me? Are you for real? Oh my god, I was so confident. I was so confident. Oh my god, this respawn timer is insane. Holy shit, he did a lot of damage to me. I think I have to watch out for that, uh... Cinderace. I have to watch out for him for sure. I need to score my points. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Well, we barely won somehow. You win. Let's look at my stats real quick. My stats are probably abysmal. Not gonna lie. What did I do there? I scored. Oof, basically nothing. Got two kills, two assists, basically did nothing. We got carried by our um, talent flame here. That's what it is, dude. That's what it is. I'll take the points, I guess. Oof, unlocked ranked match. Cool, cool, cool. Let's try a ranked match then. Let's try it. damage to Zapdos. Okay, let's go do that. Let's do a ranked match. Ranked? Ranked? At least five Unite licenses are required to participate. How many Unite licenses do I have? Are you kidding me? They're gonna gatekeep me even now? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How many Unite licenses do I have? So that means I should be able to uh, participate in a ranked match. That should be my fifth Unite license to participate in a ranked match, right? Let's find out.
Yes. I'm a beginner. Wait, can I not? Oh, I just unlocked this one. That's okay. Wait, why can't I play the rock guy? What if I'm playing Pikachu here? Are we a glass cannon team? We might be a glass cannon team here. Why couldn't I play Krussel? I was literally just playing Krussel. Why can't I play him here? Oh, is Krussel one of the free characters for this week? They do the thing where like every week, um, there's like a rotating cast of free characters every week. Russell must be one of the free characters. Okay, I guess I need to unlock Russell. I want to unlock Eldegoss too. See, their tank, their team is much tankier than ours, so I think this is like an immediate loss. I think we're we're screwed here. Route for jungle. There are two people up here. Oh, let's go help out our boy. Oh God, just get out, dude. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Got the kill. Okay, let's pressure and let's try to dunk. Let's try to dunk here. 13. Perfect. Good, 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 good. It's not like back. Are you coming back for this? Are you coming back for this? Oh my god, this bird. This bird? Genocidalist? Oh my god, dude. Stop going in like that. Look, I know you want to get some kills and all, but jeez, this is not the way. That's my bad. I thought he was on my team. That's my bad. Let's go hit the jungle over here. up there. We need to go jungle some more.
go dunk it. Let's go dunk. Let's go dunk. We can dunk, right? We can dunk? No, we can't. Can we? Can we? Can we? Can we? We can. We can. I'm going after this uh, Tortuga. What is this character called? I'm unstoppable. I'm unstoppable. Dreadnought. I don't think I can take the Dreadnought. This Haunter's coming to dunk. Haunter, Eldegoss is coming over. Oh, that's our Haunter. Getting chased by the Eldegoss. Holy shit, dude. Pikachu's sick. That Volt Tackle is insane. Oh shit, they got the... They got the Rotom. How about I pressure down low again? Score. We need to go score. Three top, three top. Level seven. We're turning on this guy. We're definitely turning on this guy. We're gonna delete him. He thought he could. Thought he could. Is that our mind? That is our mind. This Eldegoss. This Eldegoss. Oh, you can? You think you can? What is that that menu that I'm bringing up? Oh, is it this menu? Pikachu! Where do I want to go here? I want to go mid. I want to go mid. I need to hit the jungle some more. The jungle some more. Going for the Zapdos. I kind of want to dunk. Got it. We need to 
go dunk. Minute 19. I need to go dunk. 30 points. Definitely dunking. What a goal! Definitely need to dunk. Two bottom, one top. This might be a free dunk here. Yes. Holy oh, shit, I'm going to leave Okay, I deleted him. Use that ult and I deleted him. Okay, I'm pretty sure we're cemented. Our lead is cemented here. I think we won. We won you by a lot, win. actually. That was my first ranked match. So, we didn't really have a tank, and they did. So why did we win by so much? I was the number one scorer? Nice. Oh my god, I had all the kills, too. Holy shit, I just carried that game. I was the problem in that game. They were actually in the lead for a hot moment. A hot moment. 13 13, 27 10, 102. At the end there. Oh, I just scored 102 at the end. Holy shit. So that early score. There was like this. Second, fifth. We divide the game into fifths, I guess, every two minutes. The first fifth, I hit an early score. They didn't score until the third fifth? Wow, that's a problem. So it's important to be scoring like in every two minutes. Every two minutes you need to be scoring something, right? Like 10 is good. In the first two, two thirds, 10 is good. In the third and the fourth, 20 is good. And then in the last, you're like dunking. You're dunking. You're dunking for sure. So I, I basically, I was the carry of that game. Sweet. I only got 20. 20 performance points. 100 plus score bonus plus 10. Oh, I could take okay, it. Yeah. So you get performance points based on how you performed in the game. So 100 plus score, I got plus 10 points. Sportsmanship award plus 10 points. So I'm basically guaranteed 10 points per game, but that's like. Is there a way to, to make that faster? Hmm. <sighs> okay. Alright. I'm not a huge fan of those kinds of sneakers, but I don't know, maybe they'll work for me. Don't know. Exchanging for 13, 14 levels will allow you to immediately the following rewards. I am not doing that. Oh shit, okay, so how much does it cost to get to the top here? Four, two, three, five. I don't think I have that much. Wait, how many of these? How much currency do I have? It doesn't tell me. Okay, great, fantastic. Ooh, I got four trainer fashion cards. Okay. What is? Oh, the missions on my battle pass. Knock out a total of three opposing Pokemon. Score a total of 360 points. Knock out a total of 18 opposing Pokemon. Okay, got all that. 
wait, there's still something in my battle pass that I haven't seen yet. But, but, oh my god, do you have to, you have to come in here and hit claim all? That's annoying as hell. Okay, how much stuff do I have? Oh, you have to hit claim on everything, this is so annoying. Okay, so these day two missions I'm done with. Day one missions I'm done with. Um, I need to check my Pokemans. Okay, so... I couldn't play Crustle. Oh, because he's got this clock thing on him. The clock thing, I'm guessing, there are four characters, I'm guessing. This means that these are characters that I can play only for this week because they're free for this week. Is that what it is? So the five characters I have are Venusaur, Pikachu, Ninetales, Slowbro, Zorora? Is that thing? Zero, Zero Aura. Zero Aura. Zero Aura. Zero Aura. I don't know, dude. Uh, I've not played any Venusaur, Ninetales, or Slowbro yet, but maybe I should do that. I also want to look at Pikachu's abilities closer. Moves. Okay. Level 1, level 3. Thundershock. Electroweb. Are there any details on these moves? There are not. Electro Ball. Thunder. Wait, wait, so... <clears throat> you pick one of these two moves, and level 4 you upgrade one of them, level 6 you upgrade one of them again, and then level 9 is the ult. So you can only upgrade... Oh, interesting. So, I start with the Thundershock Electro Web. And then I go Electro Ball Thunder. I need to understand these moves more. There's not enough detail on this page. Oh, move descriptions. Okay, okay, yeah. Here we go, here we go. Thundershock. Release electricity dealing damage to a post Pokemon in the area of effect. Also, paralyze a post Pokemon for a short time. Okay. Attacks and it captures the post Pokemon using electric movement. Okay, so both of these are kind of uh, paralyzing moves. Pearls on electric orb dealing damage to a post Pokemon in the air effect, leaving, Pokemon, leaving them paralyzed for a short time. Electro Ball is also a paralyzing move. This move's damage increases the lower increases the lower the opposing Pokemon's remaining HP is. So, Electro Ball you want to use on low health opponents. So you maybe you want to use Electro Ball after Thunder. Upgraded Electro Ball plus when the Pokemon reaches level 11. Okay, increases damage when that. Okay. Thunder. Drops Wicked Thunderbolts, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon in the area of effect. So Thunder is more of a damage thing. <coughs> An Electro Ball is, uh, when they're lower HP. Okay, has the user Electro Ride self in charge of head throwing the post Pokemon? I'm not a huge fan of Volt Tackle, but... Attacks with a strong electric blast, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon in the air, which I can leave them unable to attack. Thunderbolt might be the best one. The Volt Tackle throws people. Okay. And then the ult is just damage, AoE damage. Okay, um, 
what I want to look at here. Um, I do want to look at the slow girl. Water gun and slack off. Shoots water forcefully, dealing damage to a blizzard Pokemon and decreasing their movement speed for a short time. When it hits slowing down, holding down the button for this move increases its area of effect and damage. Has the user slack off, continually restoring its HP for a short time. If this slacking off is interrupted, the HP restoration effect continues at decreased power. That seems kind of shitty. Seems kind of shitty. Scald shoots boiling hot water, dealing damage to opposing Pokémon and creating steam when it hits. Opposing Pokémon inside the steam's area of effect are left burned, ooh, and had their movement speed decrease for a short time. That's not terrible. Has the user charge forward on a wave, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon in the area of effect and throwing them. This is followed by two more waves that deal damage to opposing Pokemon in the area of effect and decrease their movement speed for a short time. The second and third waves become larger and also throw opposing Pokemon like the first wave does. That's level 11 it said. Amnesia. Allows the user to nullify some damage before it takes effect. For a short time after using this move, the user becomes immune to hindrances and gains increased defense. This move also increases the damage dealt by the next use of Scalder's Surf. Interesting. Makes opposing Pokemon float with psychic power. If used again, pulls the opposing Pokemon towards the user. Okay, so he has telekinesis which pulls people towards them. The ult is, has the user stare at one of the opposing Pokemon's Pokemon, a team's Pokemon and attack continually, dealing damage and binding it. Grants the user a shield and makes the user immune to hindrances while it's using this move. Immune to hindrances. Seems like Slowbro. You need to understand how to use Slowbro's moves more than other Pokemon. More than Pikachu, at least. Pikachu's like all AoE damage. Let's look at Ninetales real quick. Powder Snow. Attacks with a chilly gust of powdery snow, decreasing the movement speed of Pokemon for a short time when it hits. Icy Wind. Attacks with a gust of freezing air, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon in the area of effect, and decreasing the speed for a short time. Okay, so those moves are the same. One is a cone, one is a lane. Okay. Not a problem. Attacks with a gush of chilly ice toward the designated area. The ice forms a wall that cannot be passed through on the land. After a short time, this wall melts and collapses, dealing damage to a puzzle button in the area of effect. Okay. Dazzling Gleam. Attacks with a powerful cone of blinding light. Leaving opposing Pokemon unable to attack when this move hits. Okay. You can actually stop people from attacking you with Dazzling Gleam. Okay. And then Avalanche is a wall. Okay. Blizzard. Summons a Howling Blizzard in two blasts in front of the user. The first blast deals damage to opposing Pokemon in the area of effect, increasing their movement speed for a short time. Second blast deals damage to opposing Pokemon in the area of effect and shoves them. If the second blast hits an obstacle, it also deals damage to the opposing Pokemon near the point of impact. Oh, interesting. So there's like wall splat. It's basically wall splat. Aurora Veil creates an aurora around the user, it reduces damage to received by the user and ally Pokemon in the area of effect. While the user is inside the aurora, its movement speed is increased and its basic attack becomes basic attacks become boosted attacks. Mm, okay. What's the ult do? Attacks with chilly snow and ice dealing damage to opposing Pokemon in the area of effect when it deals increased damage to opposing Pokemon that are frozen. Oh, wait, so how do you freeze people? 
that's not it? Uh, there's no way this is it, right? I don't freeze people. Her abilities, maybe? <sighs> okay. Seed bomb. Pearls a large seed at, at the designated area, dealing damage to opposing bomb on the area of effect. Razor leaf. Long to many sharp edge leaves in a quick succession of attacks, dealing damage to opposing bomb on the area of effect. Simple Sludge bomb. Hurls unsanitary sludge to, a, to the designated area, dealing damage, dealing damage to opposing bomb on the area of effect, leaving them poisoned and decreasing their movement speed and special defense for a short time. Decreasing their movement speed and special defense. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. Giga Drain. Drains HP from opposing Pokemon in the area of effect, dealing damage to them and restoring the user's HP when it hits. Also reduces the damage the user receives for a short time. Solar Beam. Blasts a bundled beam of light, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon in the area of effect. Hmm, I thought Solar Beam was the old. Petal Dance. Scatters petals around the user, increasing the movement speed for a short time and dealing damage to opposing Pokemon in the area of effect. Launches a giant seed toward the designated area. The seed then splits apart, stealing down to a post in the air effect, decreasing their movement seed for a short time. Venusaur also seems like a character you kind of need to know how to use. It's Aurora, let's. Last one. Agility has to use a perform quick dash and increase the use space attack speed for a short time afterwards. Oh, I see. So he's like a melee. He's like an AD melee. Has the user pounce at an opposing Pokemon and attack with sharp claws. This move's final attack throws the opposing Pokemon. Okay, Volt Switch. Has the user perform a high speed dash, dealing damage to any opposing Pokemon that hits, and increasing the user's basic attack speed for a short time. Using this move again within a set period of time will allow the user to immediately dash back to where it originally used the move. Okay, Volt Switch, when you hit it again, it sends you back to where you first activated. I think that was a thing that I was like having trouble with um, when I was playing Zorora. Not fully sure what the second hit was doing. Uh, increases the, this move's damage and the amount of time increased basic attack speed lasts. Spark. Has the user leap and an opposing Pokemon will electrically charge, dealing damage to them. If the user uses its basic attack before reaching his target Pokemon, the user will instead leap at the closest opposing Pokemon, dealing damage to it. This move can be used three times before it goes on cooldown. Also restores the user's HP if the user performs a basic attack before reaching its target Pokemon. Okay. Okay, so there's some... There's a bit of technical... This is the first sign of, like, a technical... Pokemon. Discharge. Release an electrical discharge dealing damage to nearby poison Pokemon and granting the user a shield when it hits. If this move hits a poison Pokemon that are paralyzed, it pulls them in toward the user once. The move ends, dealing damage to them once again and leaving them unable to attack. So you have to paralyze them first before getting discharge. Wait, how do you paralyze them? Not clear. It is not clear how you paralyze them. Has the user charged in the designated direction? If this move hits an opposing Pokemon, the user unleashes a co combo attack that also deals a set amount of damage to itself. If the user hits an opposing Pokemon with Volt Switch, Spark, or Boost Attack before using this move, the number of attacks and combos increased. Oh. Unleashes a blast of lightning, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon in the air, effective turn. This also creates a zone of plasma that increases the use of base attack, range of damage dealt by the user inside the zone. Okay. So he's like a AD melee sort of character. Right now, what I'm missing in my lineup is like a, a true tank and like true utility. So I kind of want a Crustle. I want a Snorlax. I want the Eldegoss. Really, I kind of want this Eldegoss. 
Let's see. How do I? When do I unlock all the gods? When do I get all the gods? I have Venusaur, I have Slowbro. Do I ever get Obagos from the uh... I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna play another game. Do I go... Can I, I can't go quick anymore? I still can't go quick. What is my trainer level? To get to quick level eight, okay. I guess I play more ranked. Also have a struggle comp. Gengar, Zora, Nine Tails, Garchomp. This guy has a Garchomp already. Let's go dunk. Let's go dunk. Go dunk. Go dunk.
dunk more. Let's go dunk again. We're owning these guys. Let's go dunk again. Oh, uh, what did I miss there? What Q did I miss there that I couldn't go dunk again? Stay with me, dude. Oh, he came back. Okay, well... He should have stayed with me. Seems like our bottom lane is doing better than our top lane right now. Dunk something. Ah, 
God damn it. I think we came out on top there. People just need to go dunk. Easy to escape. We're losing badly, aren't we? I'm gonna go dunk my points. I need to go dunk my points. 18 seconds. I had a hard time dunking any of my points this game. Wow, we won by a lot, actually. I thought that we had lost by a fair margin. How did they have more destructions than us, but we had more points than them? Our Charizard actually DC'd and we still won? Wow. That's amazing. Oh, we were up the entire game, actually. Other than this one little spot here, we were up the entire game. I was having a lot of trouble dunking in the middle three two minutes here. The middle three sections. We were having trouble dunking.
this is the page I want. So, um, one, three, five, zero. I'm 50 away from hitting level seven, and then another 650 away from hitting level eight. So basically, I, I basically can't do this uh, quick battle for a little while. No energy boost tank. What does that mean? What the hell is this? is this? Should we play another game, or do we we shop a bit here? I have 11,000, which is like enough to get two characters, basically. Two cheap characters. I can get this Eldegoss. I can get any single character, but if I wanted to save for a second character, I'd have to be more... Uh, I'd have to be a little bit more intelligent about the way that I pick characters here. Eldegoss is 6, Charizard Snorlax are 6, and the uh, Talon Flame is 6. Everyone else is like 8 or 10. want to spend my currency on, on this thing, though. On these items. So how do I do that? I've been playing a lot of Pikachu. So I want to go for like a special attack buff. Glasses. These glasses I want. Oh, I have a pair of these already. That would be super cool if I could do that from here. Ok, 
can I equip stuff from here? I don't think I can, and that's kind of sad. Can You can't equip items from this screen? like you can. Play another game, and I might be done for the night. I'm a little tired here. Also, I've been sitting for too long, so um, so I want to be able to equip an item before I enter a game. Is there a way to do that? Move descriptions, all Pokemon. This ain't it. I want to get the glasses on the Pikachu, right? So, is there a way for me to do that? I don't think there is. Can I do it from the lobby screen? to select. So I'm gonna do Pikachu. Now I'm gonna put the try to put the glasses on. This interface is so laggy though. I'm gonna try to put the glasses on. the leftovers before the leftovers is like a heal over time glasses should increase my damage output. so between the snorlax and the champ I like our odds here as long as I perform I like our odds here Lucario nine tails Pikachu to do the damage Three of these people have attack ups. Oh shit. The Nine Tails is on a defense. defense item. Fuck, man. Okay, I'm not feeling so great about our team. I'm going for the Thundershock first. Oh, 
Let's dunk, dunk, Snorlax, come dunk, Snorlax, come dunk. Dunk, Snorlax, please dunk. There are too many people there. I shouldn't have stayed around. <sighs> I shouldn't have stuck around. Let's get the thunder going here. I'm 29, I need to go down. <sighs> Should I be using that potion, I guess? What if I go with top lane? Someone's attacking Dreadnought. Our guy's attacking Dreadnought. We're gonna go support that. Find a way to dunk here. Low. I think bot lane is my best way to dunk right now. That's Aurora's targeting me. Okay. I need to stay away from this Aurora. He's level 8 right now, so am I. So, basically... I need to figure out how to avoid this Aurora. Getting there when they're just dying. 
I'm like giving them three points. Like having trouble coordinating with my boys. right now. I can't fight this. I need to go somewhere else. I think I need to back actually. I can't dunk. I haven't like had a chance to dunk anywhere. The Zapdos is alive. Both of us, fuck, dude. Okay, that Garchomp is about to even the score here. He got plus 100, and he might be screwed here. on the team. Got a fair amount of kills though. I'm in beginner class too. Let's get it.
Oh, here it is. Battle prep. Give items. The glasses. Yes. Can you upgrade these? Held item. Upgrades. Unlock that trainer level 9. Are you for real? Oh, but I can use another item here. What do I want to give my Pikachu? When basic attacks hit, the damage is increased by 1% and the opposing Pokemon's remaining HP. Not a fan of that. When the Pokemon is not in combat, it recovers 1% of its max HP every second. I don't really like either of those. Wait, wait, so if Pikachu's holding my glasses, does that mean other characters can't use the glasses? Is that what that means? Kind of annoying, like I can't upgrade anything yet. Kind of annoying. Battle prep. Battle items. Have you tried using a battle item yet? You can check the battle items here. Professor Forrest. these battle you can't like pre-equip these battle items is that what you're telling me right now kind of seems like that's what you're telling me right now okay are we playing another one i want to play another one and try that out i kind of want to get to level eight Ugh. Zora, the Venusaur, Cormorant. Do I take the melee? Let's go for the exit. 
attack. Let's go for the glasses. Whoa, well, like, he was more of a... The biggest character they have is the Gengar. Gengar Slowbro. I think I have to still be careful about this Charizard. There's a lot of like insta-death characters here actually. jungle more. Fuck it. I'm going- I'm jungling. Fuck you guys. Oh my god, you guys are actually coming in. Alright, early dunk. Early dunk. Let's go dunk, let's go dunk, let's go dunk. Perfect. Winning. That, that range on that Pikachu is far. Kinda 
need it back, brother. You kinda need it back, as do I. Both of us are glass cannons, dude. He KO'd the Pikachu! He KO'd the Pikachu! That was a mistake followed by another mistake. Charizard went deep. On a 3 on 2, that Charizard went super deep. I think we're just holding for top lane right now. Yeah, just hold for top lane right now. Do we challenge this thing? Have a huge lead. Nice, no relax, finish the job, brother. Um, I'm like comfortable with our weed right now.
dead. They dead, dude. I'm dead. I'm definitely dead here. <laughs> I kind of doubt that it matters at this point. I think we're pretty comfortably in the lead right now. I was the top frag. How was I at the top frag? Wait, wait, so this guy scored, the Snorlax scored more points than I did. Both the Snorlax and the Pikachu scored more points than I did. But I got more kills. So what is this score on the right? How is this score calculated on the right? I guess I was the problem there. I guess. We never lagged, actually. That's amazing. It's so hard to score in the middle here. No one scored in the middle there. Oh, because they controlled the middle section. And then we controlled the beginning and the end, and they controlled the middle. Okay. I guess I'm okay with that. Okay. I'm not at uh, level 8 yet, and that's sad. How many more games do I get to level 8? Probably like another 2? Maybe 3? It takes a lot to get to level 8. These are every hundred of these stars you get, you get through you get a battle pass level every hundred. Interesting. So that means I've unlocked three battle pass levels. One, two, three, yeah, here we go. The backpack, the item enhancer, the AL's tickets. Interesting. Huh. The backpack. Should I put the backpack on? Eh, I'm down with the backpack. friends want to play right now. What the fuck? 10 o'clock. No one wants to play. I might be done for the night, honestly. No. 
600 tickets? Day four? Damn. Wait, wait, I want to check out my, uh, my shop right now. So this is through the coins. I have 11,000 coins. Why have I not been getting coins recently? That's a good question. Well, I guess I'm still saving these coins for items and Pokemon anyway, so I'm not like super worried about that. I can also buy Pokemon with the AR shards. So I can buy plenty of those. Clothes, I have to use the tickets. I have 25, 30 tickets. So like a whole set actually costs a good amount. Like, don't really have enough. <sighs> I can buy like individual pieces, but that's about it. I don't even like any of these. These. God damn! Like this is probably my favorite one, and it's like I don't I actually don't like it that much. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Gross, dude. Wait, I thought I had this. The fuck? Is this a different bag? Sporty backpack? How is that different from my current backpack? Are you kidding me? <sighs> These items. These items are what I'm mostly worried about. So I have a pair of goggles already. So it says owned here, so I can't buy this anymore. But I can level up my pair of goggles once I hit level 9. Fashion tickets. Holy crap, it takes like 20? 60? It takes like 10 to 60 fashion tickets to get something. Holy crap. This is a pretty sweet outfit. <laughs> I'm saving all my fashion tickets. <laughs> I'm saving all those fashion tickets. And then this is uh, purely money dollars. Okay, so this game, like. This game's a bit of a grind. My character is halfway through level 7 right now. 650 points between 7 and 8. I'm only 350 through it. I'm about halfway through, so I need to play another two games before I get to level 8. It's like... Two... Four to six games to get to level 9. Holy crap. Okay, well... You stop getting interesting rewards around level level 16, 14,000. Currently at just under 2,000. So, in other words, this is going to be a long ass grind. This is kind of a very grindy game. I might go to bed. Fuck, I'm tired, dude. I may be done for the night. I'm gonna... I'm gonna do some more studying about characters and stuff while I go to bed. But for now, I'm chilling. I think I'm not gonna play another game here. Yep, I'm out of here. Bye, stream.